Every time I walk into the restaurant now, it's very emotional, it's very hard. It's like a certain sound that I'm accustomed to. It's just not there. Yeah, you have to be a little crazy to own a restaurant in New York City. But the reason why we do it, it's pretty simple. What is the secret of your success? I mean, I've been asked that so many times, and uh, I can't come up with anything else except love. There is like a, a comforting feeling as a gathering point. Come here with a bunch of friends and you get a taste of a bunch of stuff. When somebody cooks and they cook with love, it's totally felt. That's what is special here. The restaurant became a family of people. You know, I only have one biological kid, but I actually have you know, like 70 of them. <laughs> In our culture, you just don't go to a restaurant if there's not good music playing. You follow the smell and you find a party. <laughs> Manhattan is a crazy place. The simplicity of the beach lifestyle is the thing that kind of makes you start to slow down for a second. Having the opportunity to bring a piece of your home to the city it's really special. is very expressive about the importance of our faith. We're going to have some hand clapping, foot stomping, a good time today, all right? Not just in our personal lives, but in our business. everything just kind of halted, the thought in your mind is, is this the end? It was very emotional, that emptiness, that void in life. We consider our staff family, and having to tell your family that they are out of a job is one of the most painful things to do. As a New York restaurant owner, you get into this moment where you feel like the giant wave is coming to crush you and take you out. Delivery kept us alive, but there's a difference between being alive and living. Survival alone is not sustenance. You still need the soul. One thing's for certain about New Yorkers, we don't give up. It's just not in our blood. We bounce back from 9-11. We bounce back from Sandy. We're gonna bounce back from this. Our restaurants, 
have a soul and they're coming alive again. It's all a beautiful orchestra. A beautiful rhythm. All the things All the things All the dance I got move out the park on the board them come knocking everything off his stuff Switch lanes with a slow speed All they get them look good sweet three cell phone and they still carry Mama man them a look but they know they not easy Think thing half the star All the sun go down know the thing half the star It just really goes to show what food means to community and what community means to a world that's trying to heal. The community kitchen helped us get back up and running. It feels really good to be back in the neighborhood that we love. We're going to give these people what they want. We're going to give them the music. We're going to give them the culture made people feel like they were at home. I hope that we retain this lesson of gratitude as a collective, as a community in New York. We remember that you don't need an excuse to celebrate, and sometimes that is a home-cooked meal, sometimes it is going out. Just give people your time and your energy and celebrate. 